My name is Gabriel. Uh, I'm 28 this year, turning 29, if I remember correctly. Uh, you know, my role at Allegra is uh, as a managing partner, so not just having shares, but running the entire operations from back of house to front of house of Allegra. So Allegra is the Portuguese word for joy, and you know, that's just what our whole brand and company is is to you know you can have a really good day or you know you can have a really bad day but ultimately when you come to Allegra it's just we want you to have joy through the food and through the drinks so at Allegra we're serving mainly Latin American cuisine for Mexican you know Peruvian, Puerto Rican even uh, going back into some cooking techniques from the Aztecs you know to really present it on the plate and you know with the modern finish and everything so for the vibe of Allegra, you know, we want people to come in, have some fun, you know, the music is not some boring lounge music, you know, and you have in other restaurants, you know, you have, uh, you know, songs from like reggaeton to R&B, you know, what, uh, just multiple genres that people can enjoy. Uh, for the upcoming near future, you know, we have this thing in uh, Latin culture, it's called Dia de los Muertos, so it's the day of the dead, uh, during Halloween, you know, people dress up. You know, if, like skulls, face pain, you know, just having fun, having tacos, drinking a lot of tequila and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, most likely it will be around the Halloween period, so you just can keep a lookout for that. I definitely think you guys should be keeping a lookout for the tacos because we, as a legger, as a, we do Latin American as a base. So, you know, our tortillas are all homemade corn tortillas. And also we have a little fusion here and there, Japanese, a bit of Korean, you know, there's even a ta chicken satay taco that uh, it's a Singaporean flavor, you know, just some things to look out for. What is Allegra to me? So how I ended up joining Allegra was because I used to work with Chef Charles in a previous company and we just grew very close because our, you know, our relationship is not perfect, we argue a lot. We, but you know, at the end of the day, we really sit down and uh, you know come to a common. We always find a common consensus for all problems, and you know how we ended. How I, we ended up at the Legra was, you know, he already founded this company three or four years ago in Manila, and after getting close to me, he he did offer me, and I was a bit apprehensive at first because you know it's a really new thing for me, and. He really sold the idea of Allegra to me, you know, that's how I ended up joining. Uh, how, how it motivated me is because how, okay, the idea of him selling the idea was because he told me about the company culture he created in Allegra. Uh, till this day, he has had the same stuff since opening, you know, and that's not an easy feat to have, especially in Singapore, you know, staff turnovers for FMB outlets are very high. and. And he said one thing that really struck, you know, a chord with me, you know, he told his staff, if you want to leave, always leave for somewhere better or leave for somewhere which has a higher paying salary, obviously. And, you know, and not just for the front of house, but even for the back of house, like, we have never hired chefs, you know, we've always hired dishwashers, you know, we, we're already on to our fifth dish fifth dishwasher right now in Manila so we always make sure there's always a lot of internal promotion so right now you know four dishwashers they're all line cooks now with us at Allegra uh, you know from my I've been working since 14 in the f and industry uh, I've been through a lot of you know people in the you know the company cultures that bosses always tell you know we're family and stuff but uh, you know, up to this day, I haven't had a company that they really stood for this family kind of culture. So, you know, that's what we want to create here at Allegra. You know, always to make our staff feel welcome because your staff are the most important people in your company. Mm, for me, before Allegra, you know, we went through Circuit Breaker, Phase 1, Phase 2. It was a lot of, uh, you know, Zoom meetings. How do we pivot? the business that we're in to you know just be able to sell stuff because it hasn't been easy especially for the nightclub industry you know and for the restaurant uh, industry you know it's just how do we cater to the delivery service and then when we come back during phase two you know we had a lot of guidelines to follow which are necessary 
but it's just something that we always had been planning you know since circuit breaker uh, i think one of the biggest obstacles setting up a new venture was trying to hire people because you know with the whole pandemic and everything you know trying to get uh, passes for foreign workers it's a bit of a sensitive issue right now so you know we had to really push for hiring locals and you know not a lot of locals are a fan of the FME industry long hours you know pay is not that great but you know they you know they just it was really the hardest thing for me going through and some of the doubts uh, you know was you know how long it would take you know that's a very big example because that would determine your opening day you know it's a lot of things like you know when do you pay rent you know when do you start paying rent i mean one of the things definitely would be trying to get a pass you know Try to get a pass. yeah because my chef charles is right now he's filipino so uh, trying to get a pass for him is really hard and I think now during the pandemic it's uh, it's just really a struggle you know so yeah I think that's right now is the biggest obstacle I'm still facing to this day so we will be only be officially open from the first week of May so the first two, the first two weeks of soft opening is just a chance for me and my staff to really dial down on certain details service wise but also in the kitchen you know how and uh, from there we will improve and uh, come first May onwards we'll be more you know we will be more we will find our own groove already by then anyone can definitely come by you know drop by our Instagram you know Allegra at SGP uh, shoot us a DM you know call us or you know if you want if not just walk in but you know if you make a reservation hopefully you'll definitely get the table because Walk-ins are, are a bit hard nowadays. You know, just some words of advice, you know. Don't just see the the good side of things like, you know, what I post on Instagram. I'm enjoying myself, drinking or, you know, uh, having fun, you know. But, you know, people don't really see the, the hustle that's been put into the concept. You know, and for the staff, from setting up and you know planning and sta those stages you know uh, people don't see that so just be really i hope you're mentally prepared because honestly no one's really prepared for anything so yeah